So it all comes down to this. Welcome to Selhurst Park as Crystal Palace aim for promotion at under 23 level. Live coverage of the Young Eagles playoff final tonight against Sunderland and in their first season as a Category 1 academy. Well, that course is very, very dangerous and it's uh, not turned home at the far post. Street hit it. Bob Street will do. And that is deflected behind for a corner. That's a nice pass. And here is Hawks, who has an excellent goal scoring record. And that wasn't too far away. That was it an wasn't. early warning shot. The old saying that a, a throw in is a pass, right? It should be treated as such with care. That's a dangerous ball. That's a free header. And Oli Weber has done terrifically well to tip it over the bar. First big save from Palace's young shot stopper and that was a good one. Too easy, that closing is not good enough there. Now, his first opportunity really. Raksaki, might we see a trick? He's onto that left foot, Raksaki. That's cute, David Boateng. Still going David Boateng. And that would have been on target and Palace have won another corner. Sunderland will try and turn defence into attack. Excellent touch from Harris and a very good pass. And here is Hawks. Hawks lines one up. Weber with another important save. Spence. This is David what there Barting you go. is on the move. And he's been found. Now Street against Younger. Great ball. Oh. Raksaki over the bar. Well, that is the chance the Palace have been waiting for. And Jezeren Raksaki, unfortunately, couldn't take it. That's a lovely ball from Spence with the outside of his boot. He's released Rob Street with a peach of a pass. Street, tight angle. Corner. Drags his shot wide, but it will be a corner. Hannum. He'll cross it. And he can normally fizz in a fine pass, but Hannum decides to dribble. And he gets it back. Reese Hannum! Big save. Hannum again. Now David Burting. Hard just wouldn't go in. Ooh. David Burting twists and turns. Couldn't quite pick out Rob Street. Oh, he can hit it. Bagaloo might just take on the shot. He does. And Anthony Patterson has had an excellent 30 seconds. It's going to be Spence again. It's been a good spell, this, from Palace. The search for the opener. Here it comes from Spence. Bagaloo oh. is up. And it's hooked over the crossbar. Excellent piece of defending. It's another corner. Well battle there, Sunderland. Lovely pass to find Raksaki here. Cheers around Raksaki back onto that left foot. Back onto his right. Oh, it's great and play. over the bar. Brilliant skill. Not quite the finish to match, but it's all Palace yes. at the moment. He's in here if he goes. He's in, he's in. Malachi Boateng has spotted him and it's a wonderful ball. The touch is great from Jezeran Raksaki. Is this the moment for Palace? Raksaki! Great save oh, again save. from Anthony Patterson. He's having a superb night in the Sunderland goal. The chance rather comes and goes. Reese Hannum looks for Street. He's found Rob Street. Patterson saves yet again. He won't be beaten yet. Worked that nicely. Hawks with another effort. And this one has kept out Harris on the follow-up. And O'Brien with the block. Well, how did that first shot stay out? James Taylor for Crystal Palace. Swings it in and it's flicked off goalwards and wide by O'Brien. Oh, he doesn't get a good head on it, does he? And Taylor's up against the hobbling Hannum. Puts it in towards well Hawks. Done, David. David Burting wins the header. Don't foul. Still though, there is danger. On we go. Wumwell, Boateng again, but oh. Wumwell slithered into the box here for Sunderland, and he's pulled it back, and that is a remarkable piece of defending from Bagaloo and from O'Brien. And how did that not go in? Heroic stuff. And here goes Gordon. One added minute at the end of extra time, and it's all happening at Selhurst Park. Malachi Boateng touches it back to Leathers, through towards Rob Street. Back to Leathers, he's on trial. He's picked out Rob Street. Who's blasted it over? And with virtually the last touch, 
the chance for promotion for now comes and goes. And I'd love to see the piece of defending at the other end, but it is penalties. And both sets of players can't believe they've not scored right at the end of extra time. But it will be penalties to decide. Rob Street, first up. Keeps his nerve just about. 1-0 Palace. And look at that from the number nine. What drama for these young players. What an education in playoff football they are having. Here he comes. Big penalty. <laughs> You've got to say. Reece Sanam, who hobbled through extra time and gallantly made it to penalties. Yeah, having been had a stretch, out. had a drink. He had a, a brilliant night. He's been outstanding. 1-1 one, one in the shootout. Hannum scores. Excellent. Goalkeeper gets the right way again. Excellent. But uh, big pressure Yeah. on Sunderland's number nine. Harris, another good penalty. Very good. To so keep it the wrong way. Just don't rush it. Malachi Boateng, great penalty. Very good. Five successful, Palace of 3 2 up. The sixth player to take a penalty tonight. No one has missed so far. Oh, no penalty. one has missed so far. 3 all. John Kamani Gordon came on late. Here he goes. Same corner, same outcome. 4 3, Palace lead. Well, the keeper seems like they're going early. I think it is Ellis Taylor. Oh, is it Taylor? Who has a sweet left foot. Yeah. Places the ball down. Here he goes, Taylor. Oh, he's missed! And Palace are going to have the chance to win it and seal promotion. The hero for the under-18s all season long. Now he has the chance to fire the under-23s to promotion. Composed, David. This goes in, Palace are up. David Omilabu scores! <laughs> Crystal Palace have won promotion. A horrible way to lose, a glorious way to win. And Selhurst Parker ups. What a group of players, they held their nerve. They were perfect from the penalty spot. And Crystal Palace will be playing in Premier League 2 Division 1 next season. Yeah. What a night. Wow, what a climax. Well, the last game of the season, the disappointment of yesterday. And what did I do with my notepad? I had everybody's names written down who was taking the penalty. And before he walked, when I saw he was in walking to the penalty spot, I put a tick by his name, didn't I? I, I you just know. You just know. I think he'd relish that moment. I think they left him last just in case because he just thrives on it. He absolutely loves it. And what can you say? You obviously feel for Sunderland. They've given everything they've got. I don't. I think that Patterson, the goalkeeper, is man of the match for me. I really think he's been excellent. But, you know, tonight was our night. And um, I feel really pleased for, for everybody concerned, all this, the coaching staff, the boys, the, the staff around. It's, it's just, I'm, I'm just so pleased because, you know, so many times we've been on the, the, the bad end of this. Um, Ollie Weber and everybody. Well done. They should enjoy the moment because it's a great moment for all of them. Well, here we go. The trophy delivered to Jake O'Brien. Crystal Palace are up. <laughs> In their first season as a Category 1 Academy, the celebrations can start. And they'll go on for a long, long time. They've beaten Sunderland on penalties and they are joining the real elite of Academy football next season.